Hola, 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 my friends. So, welcome back, welcome to Dibalen Football Channel. Can I see Football Channel, Football from the Fans Perspective? We are back again. Yeah, club football is back, uh, international break is over. And, and we are back again, man, we are back again. You know, no one, no one likes uh, international break. Especially if their national teams are not doing well, their players are not playing the national teams. You know, no one enjoys it. And, and, and anyway, we need it, we need it, we need it. The international competitions we saw how France, you know, uh, against Belgium played. We saw, you know, Italy versus Spain and then France versus Spain. Very interesting international games, very good international games. You know, a spectacle, a very fair spectacle. France ending, you know, France winning the the the, the UEFA Nations League. Uh, very dramatic one, Benzema. And then Mbappe, you know, beautiful game, beautiful game. But also at home, we are trying to qualify, trying to get to Qatar. We are trying to get into the World Cup. And, and you know, the last time we played the World Cup, we played it at home. And we didn't qualify. was the fact that we were at home and we were hosts. And then we, we made it in, in, into the, the, the World Cup. After that, we couldn't make it. Even the years before, we were not making it. It has been a struggle. But right now, I think Hugo Bros is in. He's trying to push, man. He's trying to to consolidate a team. He's trying to build a team, and he's doing it slowly. He's doing it slowly. He's doing it with young boys. He's doing it the right way, and and I'm very happy. We went to visit Ethiopia, and uh, we won in Ethiopia 3-1. Beat Ethiopia 3-1. A game that I couldn't watch, and the highlights also are not clear. It's, it's, it's just difficult to to make a conclusion, to make analysis around that game. But the fact that we won 3-1 for me was very very much you know satisfied. And then we hosted Ethiopia at home. Uh, then we won one nil, a very lucky win, to be honest, and a game that all of us could watch. And it was you no know, nice to see fans in the stadium. Two thousand fans were allowed in the stadium, and it was a great game, man. To see fans in the stadium, the you no know, sounds different. It sounds different, and that's what we want. That's what we're looking for, and that's what we need also in the PSL. We need fans to be back, but. Yeah, one nil, a lucky win, a lucky win of Bafana Bafana. Was not impressed by the um, performance, to be honest. Uh, no, no, judging from the fact that we won through one in Ethiopia when we were playing away, we expected at least a better performance, a more, you know, electric performance against against Ethiopia. And we didn't see that, and we won one nil. It was a corner kick, a deflection, if not a deflection, just call it an own goal. And then one nil. Other than that, from that from that moment of the game, we've been chasing the game. In the middle of the park, Ethiopia bossed us. Uh, up front also, we couldn't you know create chances against Ethiopia. It just didn't make sense for me. It didn't make sense. Things were not clicking. We're not clicking. And and also at the back, I was not impressed by the backline of South Africa. To be honest, we could only survive because Ethiopia is a very low quality team uh, when it comes to finishing. I watched. The chances they created, the multiple of chances they created, you know, good chances to, you know, create problems in the, in, in the box, in, in our box. But, yeah, it was um, just, something was, was, was just not right with, the, with, with Ethiopia. But playing against another team, to be honest, even if it was Zimbabwe, the chances that Ethiopia got and the chances that the, the goal scoring, you know, opportunities and situations Ethiopia, Ethiopia created, would be, I mean, would be, would, would be buried, would be buried if we play against another team. We can't go to Ghana that way. We can't go to Ghana that way. It's just not gonna make it. We're, just, we're not gonna make it. We know that now the race remains between Ghana and South Africa. On top of Ghana, with one point, we're going to, re to, 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 to visit Ghana, and then we're going to receive Zimbabwe at home. We need to improve. Yeah, Hugo Bros is building a team, but at, at some point, you need to be very convincing, especially at the back. I was not happy at the back. I was not happy with the middle of the park. I don't know why they changed um, Toby Mvala for Novo. First half, Novo was just, for me, was just uh, not good enough. Not that it's bad, was just not good enough. First, in terms of tracking back, I feel like it's too slow when we, we, we need to defend. We're under check, we're defending, facing our goal. I feel like it's too slow. And then, when we have the ball, we want to build up from the back. We want to build up and progress the ball. I feel like... He's not giving you much spaces, he's not dynamic as, as it should be in the middle of the park in terms of opening up spaces, opening up spaces for, for, you know, for, for passes and then trying to turn with the ball and progress the ball. But he is a defender, he's been introduced for the first time in the national team playing in that position 
uh, from you know starting in that position because we knew he was changed uh, against Ghana. He entered the plate in that position. But also Kaza Chiefs also had a game also playing in that position as uh, as a midfield. So it's his third it's his third game, but it's the second game in terms of you know starting and, and, and the full match. So we could understand, we should be able to understand. And and I think it's going to be a decent player, it's gonna be a good player if it's given time. If given you know he needs to adapt to the game, he needs to adapt to that. Otherwise, in terms of his passes, he's very good, he's comfortable on the ball. He wins duels. That's another thing that I like. Whether it's 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 it's, it's high balls or just duels on, on the ground, he's going to win them, most likely to win them. One uh, you know many of them against Ethiopia. So I was impressed, it's, it's getting there. But also I'm inter- I'm impressed, man. I mean group is very young. Group is very young, you know, decent performance, this is smart. This is smart gave us a decent performance. Uh, I mean Jabulon also the performance in the second half was was, was not that bad. one is one for the future, it's just one for the future. Bongusha Shungwane is just one for the future, it's a wonder man, it's, it's, it's very good. The fact that he's still at, at my respect, there's no you know news and, and stuff around him linking him with other teams. It's, it's just yeah, it puzzles me, it puzzles me, but it's very good, it's a very good winger. Mahopa as well, it's doing well. Ethan Brooks uh, played in, in, he started in Ethiopia, couldn't start in, uh, in, in South Africa, but he came in as a sub. He's doing very well. I'm talking Vala as well. He's, he's, he's proving people wrong as well. So I'm thinking, let's give support to this guy. What I like about Hugo Bros, not afraid to speak his mind, not afraid to criticize. His players are not doing well, not afraid to say it, not afraid to speak his mind. Also, if, not, if he's not getting you know, proper treatment uh, with, with the teams and, and, and associations and and, and and stuff like that. He's, he's not afraid to say it. He's going to say it if he thinks he's being sabotaged. And I think PSL, you know, PSL people. I don't know, man. The, the leadership of of, of 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 the country, especially as far as football is concerned, there's a lot of problems. A lot of problems around the leadership of the country. But let's pick up the coach. If the coach is giving results, let's pick up the coach. And this guy is not going to look at who's popular, who's playing for which club, who's well known, who's praised by fans. Picks his team, decent team for himself, for his plan, and he has he has plan on the table, and this boys implement the, the plan and then come 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 back with the results. But I know it's going to backfire when he's not winning, when he's losing. People are going to say, yeah, yeah, he didn't pick this one and this one and this one and that one experience and stuff like that. But I think let him succeed with with his own formula. Let him fail with his own formula. That's what I like. Without interference, without agents telling him who to play, without you know, teams, you know, chairmen and, and, and all that and all that. Safa people also interfering, telling coaches how to play, how to implement the game, how to do this and this and this and that. Hugo Plus is doing a great job. He needs our support. Now we're back and, 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 and yeah, man, we're back to local football. And Kansas will be playing Chipper United on Sunday, if I'm not mistaken, Sunday. And, and, and yeah, looking forward to that game. Two struggling teams. Kazachi is still in, I think, 13th position, 6 points. Chiba also down there. And both the teams are looking to climb up the table. It's going to be a tough one. And, and, and yeah, we're going to do a preview. We're going to do a match preview on it. I don't want to speak much on it, but we expect a win. Anyway, we expect a win. We also expect better performance from Stuart Baxter. We expect better performance from the players. But also Chiba as well, the new team. We expect better performances. I read a message... Uh, uh, yeah, Chairman Chipa sending a message to the fans, the technical team, the club, you know, and stuff like that, giving them that kind of motivation and saying there are positives that are happening. Governor Andrew bring some positives, is consolidating a team. So it's going to be a very strong, uh, tough match for Kaiser Chiefs. So we need, really need to, 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 to pitch in, we really need to show up. But yeah, in the meantime, before I do a preview, I'll just be reading my So Color to my, you know, editions. This one I think is the oldest, but the stuff about Trader Chief as well. There's, the, you know, there's Tyson there. There's also Shaluli and Grand Kekan after beating Trader Chief, I think. Yeah, and and the interesting, you know, news about it, about it is is lessons Trader Chief and Orlando Pirates can learn from Sundowns. Yeah, there yeah, are lessons we need to learn from Sundowns. But I'm done with this one. And then the other one uh, from. 29th to the 5th of October, as a chief big mistake. Yeah, you can see striking force is struggling, and and yeah, you can see the striking force is, is struggling. But 
like everything is it's mostly you know these newspapers and this news is mostly about casualties, man. And and yeah, we are privileged as casualties fans, one of the biggest, you know, if not the biggest club in Africa, uh, to be reading about our team. You know, it's newsworthy. Casualties is not newsworthy, man. And then this one, the latest edition, five solutions for Baxter's ship. Very much interested. What would be those five solutions, man? Yeah, you know, we have all of us have our opinions. I think I have my opinion about Kaiser Chiefs, how it should be solved, and these guys, I think, also they have their own opinion. And there's a, there's a question also about Nugas and 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 babies. Have Nugas and babies done enough at Orlando Pirates? I don't know. I don't know if they've done enough things for Orlando Pirates fans to decide and the technical team and stuff like that. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. Viva Lens Football Channel. Kaiser Chiefs Football Channel is good to be back at last. And this piece.